A few months ago, I made a video where I walked through every single Teruno series pothos that is currently in existence. It was a very boring video, but it's also a very useful video. Teruno pothos are very special because they are grown only in Japan and they are extremely hard to find in the United States. And if you can't find them, it comes with a very hefty price tag. So at the time I had said, I do not have any of them. But that has changed. I now have three Teruno series pothos that I got um, from Reddit. And I got them as unrooted cuttings. They are now rooted. This is Teruno bumpy. That's my favorite of the three. And then I have Fanfare and Carnival, although I do kind of forget which is which. Come on. <laughs> there we go. If you're not familiar with rare plants or rare pothos, then those three plants just looked like very boring, normal plants. But I can assure you that the price was not cheap and they are hard to find. Naturally, I got these because I want to try tissue culturing them for fun, but I want to practice on a less expensive plant. Left stage, Cebu Blue. I have this gorgeous Cebu Blue that I'm going to be experimenting on. At one point in time, Cebu Blues used to be expensive, so who knows, maybe Teruno Pothos will be super cheap one day. Coming to a Home Depot near you, leaves that I paid $35 each for. For my multiplication media, I'm using 7 grams of agar, which is a little less than I typically use, 25 grams of sucrose, full strength MS, which I think is 4.43 grams per liter, 2 milliliters per liter of TDZ, 0.2 milliliters per liter of NAA, half a milliliter per liter of PPM or plant preservative mixture, and then I adjusted the media to a pH of 5.8. I autoclave the media at 15 psi for 20 minutes. This is what I do for all tissue culture media, and I actually have a video that is specific to autoclaving stuff for tissue culture, so I highly recommend you check out that video if you haven't yet. I autoclave everything that is going to be going underneath the laminar flow hood, and again, I'm using a pressure cooker as an autoclave. It's basically the same thing. Big tissue culture doesn't want you to know this. For my explants, I'm using nodal sections and also some shoot tips as well. I'm planning to use four explants per jar just because I have such a big plant, so I may as well take a lot of cuttings. I first clean the explants by placing them in water with a drop of tween 20 and agitating it for about 10 minutes just to get off that like surface layer of dirt. After that, I place the explants in 70% ethanol for one minute, followed by placing them in a 2% bleach solution for 25 minutes. The tween 20 acts as a surfactant. I cannot say that word ever, surfactant. <laughs> the bleach that I'm using is 7.5% hydrochloride. So you just need to check the back of your bleach to see what percentage your bleach contains. Always check your hydrochloride concentration. Under the laminar flow hood, I first rinse the plants off um, over kind of this catch pot that I always use with a stainless steel strainer. After that, and before I put them into the tissue culture jars, I also do three rinses of sterile water. And then I make two cuts, one on either side of the nodal section, before placing them into the tissue culture media itself. And these two cuts are just to cut off the tissue that would have died due to the bleach concentration. You don't necessarily have to make these extra cuts because we are using such a low percentage of bleach compared to a lot of other tissue culture processes that I've done on this channel. But I decided to do it anyway just to be safe and to make them look a little better and because they were too long anyway. After six weeks or so, I will subculture these plants and transfer them into new multiplication media. That is the exact same recipe that we are using in this video. After another eight weeks or so, they'll go into rooting media. So the recipe that I'm planning to use for rooting media is similar, but I'm going to reduce the amount of TDZ to no TDZ or very little because TDZ is a cytokinin that promotes multiplication. And in the rooting stage, we want to use more auxins so that we get our plants to root. Like I said, I'll use no TDZ or very little, and then I'll double the amount of NAA that I use to 0.4 or 0.5 milliliters per liter. I only made half a liter of media, so I divided everything by two to make the media for these pothos cuttings. I hardly ever make a full liter of media. I typically put around 50 milliliters of media in each tissue culture jar. I'm like grabbing for one, but there's not one around me. This is approximately 50 milliliters per liter in this jar here. Um, this explant is actually an orchid from my orchid video that I made. I have a lot of new tissue culture videos coming out, so please subscribe if you're not already. Bye!